Finally, Toyota has upgraded the coaster bus and they haven't been half-hearted about it either. It gains a stronger, safer chassis, suspension upgrades, powertrain upgrades and more safety. It's taller and wider and has more passenger capacity. So let's take a closer look at this favourite of Australian bus operators. Toyota says the new coaster is uh, an upgrade, but when you take a closer look, it's pretty obvious that it's a completely new model. They changed everything in some way, except the name. The body is obvious, totally different, taller by 70 mil, wider by 45 mil, and more squared off. Under that, the chassis is different, and though it's on the same series, the engine is revised with a tweaked transmission bolted to the back of it in five-speed manual or four-speed auto. The previous coaster was such a good thing it lasted 30 years basically unchanged. The new one will probably do the same, though so with exponential sales growth of electric buses expected soon and tightening emissions laws, it might not be that long lived. Whatever, Coaster is a favourite with schools, aged care facilities, airport transfer companies, community groups, too many users to mention here when you dig into it. What makes Coaster so popular is down to the number of seats and undoubtedly the reliability of a Toyota. With 21 seats in a 2-1 arrangement and the driver, Coaster is ideal for its intended purpose, plying suburban and interurban roads. Precious little storage space is provided down the back. In fact, there isn't any, as the rear pews are almost hard up against the rear barn doors. That defines Coaster as a short haul urban bus to carry passengers with minimal luggage that can be stored in the luggage rack or on their laps. This time around, taller passengers won't have to stoop as they walk down the aisle because there's over 190 centimetres of headroom. Safety is improved this time around too, through driver and passenger front airbags, a stronger chassis and revised suspension. The steering and the brakes got to work out too, but advanced driver assist technology bypasses the new Coaster. It has twin rear doors with an emergency exit a larger entry step than before and rear fog and high mounted stop lamps. Toyota offers two versions of Coaster in standard manual with optional auto transmission and auto only deluxe. The standard manual is 119,500 with auto adding 7,000 while the deluxe is 130,500 bucks. Inside's pretty good in the deluxe model we drove with a 6.1 inch touch control screen and a number of apps looking after sat nav, audio, phone and other functions with speech commands. Driving new Coaster is really good. The steering wheel is nearly dead flat, but it does have rake and reach adjustment. The steering feel is light and Coaster has a decent turning circle. I found the steering a tad indirect when I first started driving, but I got used to it. Gear selection is by a conventional center console selector, while pedal arrangement is one each side of the steering column. It's a functional workspace for the driver and the seat feels pretty good, even after a few hours behind the wheel. The reversing camera is the godsend, simplifying parking while adding a huge safety benefit. Rolling along the road, I notice how rigid the new Coaster feels over rough roads, through corners and particularly over driveways. Where the earlier model would rock and roll, groan and rattle, this one is solid. It uses a circular structure to connect side pillars with roof reinforcements. An additional pillar has been added near the front passenger seat for greater body stiffness. It's a good platform to get the best out of Coaster's double wishbone and leaf spring suspension. The 4 litre 4 cylinder engine is an oldie but a goodie, with a revised turbo this time around and some changes to cut noise, vibration and harshness, including a new exhaust system. Power output from the Euro 5 compliant engine is 110 kilowatts at 2700 RPM and 390 7 newton meters of torque at 1800 rpm. New Coaster is a good thing to drive and ride in. It's more comfortable by a long shot thanks to the stiffer chassis, recalibrated suspension and additional sound deadening material. Toyota didn't get into the number one position for nothing. They listen to their customers and they act on their recommendations. And this Coaster is the classic example. It's better all round. It's smoother, quieter, safer, looks better, drives better, uses less fuel. Big tick Toyota.